This is Billy Batson, star reporter for station WIZZ-TV. He has been picked by the aged wizard Shazam to carry on the wizard's lifelong crusade against crime and the forces of evil. When Billy speaks the wizard's name, Shazam! Billy becomes Captain Marvel, mighty champion, combining the wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules, the stamina of Atlas, the power of Zeus, the courage of Achilles, and the speed of Mercury. Billy's twin sister, Mary Batson, has also been granted special power. When she speaks the name, Shazam! Mary Batson becomes Mary Marvel, blending the grace of Selena with the best qualities of other goddesses, whose names combined form the word Shazam. The third member of the mighty trio is their friend, lame newsboy, Freddie Freeman. When he speaks the name of his idol, Captain Marvel! Freddie becomes the powerful Captain Marvel Jr. Together, they are the mighty Marvel, dedicated to fighting the forces of evil throughout the universe. It's a festive day at the City Zoo. A big shipment of new animals has just arrived, and Billy Batson, Wiz TV's star reporter, is on the spot with the news that's hot. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Billy Batson for Wiz TV. Er, uh, this is Batsy Billion. Uh, uh, be <laughs> for Pete's sake, Batson, we need a sound level. This is a rehearsal. Sorry, sir. Just a slight uh, distraction. We're speaking with Mr. Tawny, one of the directors of the zoo. Uh, tell us about the new gorillas, Mr. Tawny. An amazing story, Billy. <laughs> now, those two, Mimi and Alphonse, were difficult to catch. But the other one <laughs> practically jumped into the cage. It was almost as if he wanted to go. Gee, he is big. What's his name? Big Boy. You know, there's something about him. He's not like any gorilla I've ever seen. Now that you mention it, he looks a lot like... <laughs> no, it couldn't be. I must distract him before he remembers where he's seen me before. Ah, just the thing. I'll make him change into Captain Marvel. I will obey. Mr. Tawny, thank you once again. It's always a pleasure to hear from our animal friends. Make that usually a pleasure. Looks like it's time for... The Marvels! Shazam! Captain Marvel! How do you suppose they got out?
Fools, did they think they could escape the vengeance of Dr. Alarog forever? <laughs> I'll show them all of them. <laughs> Gadzooks, I wish Tawny would learn a new song. He says it inspires his cooking, Uncle Dudley. Ha! We should have asked Billy to get some pizza on his way home. Could Big Boy really be Dr. Alarog? I don't know about that, but I do know Uncle Dudley hasn't got another move. I'll see what's keeping dinner. I wish Billy would hurry up. I think we should go back to the zoo and check that gorilla. He told us to wait until he was through at the station. Oh, right. But I still don't see how Alarog could have escaped after we captured him the last time. Now, what do you suppose? Must have been the wind. We better take a look. That's funny. I thought you said they were hungry. The front door's open. <laughs> Believe it or not. Well, speak up, man. I smell gorillas. <laughs> Gorillas? That's impossible. It's probably your cooking. I tell you, there were live gorillas right here within the last few minutes. <laughs> Wait a minute. They're the same gorillas that were at the zoo. Hmm, I think we better get down to the zoo and see what this monkey business is all about. I don't know. Billy will be back soon. Don't you think we should wait for him in case there's any trouble? No need for that, Mr. Tawny. If trouble should show its ugly head, Uncle Marvel will show his. Maybe we should wait for Billy after all. Let's show him we can solve a case by ourselves for a change. Well, if you say so. You wait here. If anything happens, get Billy as fast as you can. Oh, yes. <laughs> Excellent idea, Honey. Hmm, I've always had a way with animals. Cute little fella. Ow! Uh, wait, please, what are you doing? <laughs> Something's got these animals riled up. I'll just stand clear of the cages. I wonder what's keeping Tony. <laughs> Pardon me, sir. <sighs> what's going on? Alarog? <sighs> He's going to release the animals? <sighs> And put the humans in cages? You there! Get out of that suit! Catch you later! Hold the tiger! I knew I shouldn't have eaten them pickles. I wonder what got into him. Hey, open up! 
may not look like much, but it'll do the trick. <laughs> you overgrown monkey, you better leave before Captain Marvel gets here. Stupid humans, leave. <laughs> the fun's just beginning. Son, what exactly did you have in mind? <sighs> just a little gardening. Perhaps you'd like a small demonstration. <laughs> now that's what I call <laughs> fun. When the entire world is a jungle, the human race will become my slaves. My jungle machine will make it much more... Uh, livable. For animals, that is. <laughs> we'll just put it on full power, and the world will be mine. There's nothing worse than an evil-powered, crazed monkey with a green thumb. Uncle Dudley, too? This is worse than I expected. But what does Alarog want? He thinks humans should never have been allowed to take control of the world. He wants revenge on all of us. But how... Holy moly! The city square is turning into a jungle. No time to waste. Shazam! to get to the zoo, if it isn't too late already. Can Captain Marvel stop Ali Rog before the jungle swallows up his hometown forever? We'll soon find out. Captain Marvel races toward the city zoo to rescue Mary, Freddy, and Uncle Dudley, held captive by the evil Dr. Alarog. But meanwhile, Alarog's jungle machine is making problems. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to do something about this. What a mess. Where am I going to start? I wonder if Weed Killer would help. Here we go again. Dr. Alarog really has turned the animals loose. One down. Now, are the rest of you coming peacefully? Or do I have to do this the hard way? I thought I'd never catch them all. All right, Alarog. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Find your captivity uncomfortable, do you? <laughs> Get used to it! So, the great Captain Marvel is here at last! All right, Alarog. Your little game is finished. And you can start by untying them. Oh, come now, Captain Marvel. What's your rush? We have so much to talk about. We'll talk, all right, after I put you behind bars where you belong. Indeed. If I were you, my dear Red Cheese, I wouldn't move a muscle. Do you think I'd make it that easy? After you and your friends sealed me in a cave? If an earthquake hadn't opened it... We left you enough food to last forever. 
but it was so boring. <laughs> naughty, naughty. Another failure, Balarog. Really? <laughs> Let's see. That ray has made me too powerful. Another failure, did you say? All right for you, Alarog. I can't slow down. That ray must have increased my powers a billion times. I must slow down. Holy moly! Admit it. This is Alarog's best trick so far. But maybe that strength ray won't work the same on Billy Batson. Shazam! Wow! I never felt like this before. I bet I could fly. I can't really fly, but I can jump miles. I'm almost as strong as Captain Marvel. This is fun. Your precious Captain Marvel is out of the picture for good. Now I'm going to put all of the city's humans in the zoo. Then let the animals take over? I don't think so, Dr. Alarog. Get him! <laughs> How? Let's just say you underestimated humans. Captain Marvel! Shazam! I'll take that ray pistol. Shazam! Tell me one thing, Malarog. Why do you do these things? You wouldn't understand. I wanted to be the first gorilla in Who's Who. Okay, I'll have a special one printed up for you. Who's Who at the zoo. I'll get you for this, you big red cheese. <laughs> so ends another adventure with the mighty Marvel. You won't want to miss the next exciting adventure with star reporter Billy Batson, his sister Mary, their friend Freddie Freeman, lovable Uncle Dudley, and that amazing talking tiger, Mr. Tawny.